at this point of time this is almost turning out to become like a come dine with me episode Tesco shopping because Pavitra's friends are coming over tomorrow and there's like a whole bunch of like things happening and we are buying like buying stuff to make for them for tomorrow. It's exciting though. And that's Pavitra trying to buy the correct dal to make a particular dish uh, which is like a South Indian um, delicacy to feed them tomorrow. I on the other hand went a little mad on the noodles These are just so yummy And then I don't know what these are because I never really tried them before But I'm trying them now And then there's a the chicken flavored ramen as well That's mine This is like the entire pasta section All the way till here So cool. Okay, so Pavi and I are also doing like a food challenge thingy that's going on on her channel. I'll leave a link in the description box below. Make sure you go give that a like as well. So I'm basically doing all the buying and she has to do all the tasting. So this is like my favorite orange juice of all time and I cannot leave without it. Have you ever been in that situation where like you just about had to like walk into the billing area and then the billing area gets like flooded with people? That's what just happened to us. It was empty like like a minute before we went and stood there. It was totally empty. We went there and there were like a hundred people standing there. Okay, that might be a little bit of an over exaggeration but yeah. There were like a hundred people standing there. So a couple of days ago, Pavi was on her way to the university and she fell down and she fractured her leg. We are on our way to the hospital again to get it checked up. This happened about a week and a half ago, but the checkup is today. And the weather is just completely changed today from what it was yesterday. So we're back at the Homerton Healthcare Foundation and Trust Hospital. Last time we went in there, this time we're going in here. Major confusion at the doctor's place. The appointment is not today, it is for tomorrow. They called up Pavitra and they said that the appointment was today. So that is why we did come today, but... This happens. Check out the frame. Oh, wow. This is so cool. The store is called Patina on uh, Chatsworth Street. Amazing stuff. Absolutely wonderful store. The, the kind of stuff that they have over there is like filled with so much character but if you're not searching for something in specific or if something does not appeal to you in like in specific it's very difficult for you to find something inside a vintage store but the stuff is absolutely great so just decided i'm going to pull the bike out after almost a week or 10 days it's been a very long time since i've taken it out for a ride also just wanted to like stretch my legs all the running's been cramping it up so thought just go for like a really nice cool ride around town hopefully it doesn't start raining well you never know okay so around town i have seen a couple of these road safety camps set up at main junctions or at uh, places where the traffic is a lot higher than uh, normal you need to get off the street over there so these are certain camps that you can just bring your bike to and they will just like 
like not service it service it but look into anything that is hazardous to uh, the streets so in case your brakes do not hold it, hold properly or something like that they will repair it free of cost that's what these camps are all about so this is like amongst my favorite places to come cycling it's just so beautiful but today i think some construction going on so they have shut down the road but this path is still open to all cyclists and people who are walking of course How beautiful is that? So sometimes when my mind's all like clogged up with all the bullshit that the world is throwing at me, I just cycle. Just leave it all out here on the road and I've really really started to unwind. Do you see that post office right there? That one. That is where I officially came to collect my BRP. They sent it here. It's just like the beginning of a new life completely. Right there. How cool. I sometimes do not understand Google Maps. It sends you through like the most locations ever, like the most craziest routes ever. random routes ever i would never ever think that i'd have to go through something like this and now i'm on the wrong track i need to be up there i am almost back home though close call It almost felt like that, like duck. 